they used to call it the old cab track. It probably didn't have, but I don't know, nothing for like one or two cars in it. The cabooses used to sit back here. Okay, so this whole plot right here was a side track mm -hmm. where they'd store the cabooses yeah, and everything. They called it old cab track. Percy, Percy would know a lot more about it than I did. I can remember vaguely as a kid. I can remember the track yeah. sitting there and cabooses sitting in here. Um, on the back side back here, we'll cross the track here. All right. Pass side. Somebody's done come fix the windows. Sorry we missed you. <laughs> and they've come and put the lock back on it. And that's the old signal department for us. It's got the old N and W lock on it. Are you serious? Oh wow, well, I think so. Oh, I know. N and W. N and W signaling and signaling and something department. Yeah, signaling and control, signaling and that's the N and W lock on it. Put these windows in all that long ago. Yeah. So somebody's sealed it up. All right, right here. Yeah, it's where. See it? See the track? Yeah, the track is still here. Okay, look. This is where this went. Went right down there. Went back behind that building and went straight back that way. See the building right there? Yeah. Went behind that and further. Oh wow. So the step this way just make sure. Yeah. And it went back behind them buildings. When you went around that curve by there, it used to be a uh, southern states. They used to get feed and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. so this was a, it was a crossing right here. It went down. And I remember the trains when they used to go down in there. Um, you know, they'd take them down the hill and they'd take covered hoppers down there, I think, with feed or whatever. I remember, you know, I just walked the top of my head. That's fine. Wow. Now, also. Here's the track right here. Yeah. Right. I'm surprised it's still here. It came off. It came across right here. And went up against that building just like that. Just across right here. You see, you see they had a little old cargo door that's been bricked in? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. It sat up right there. Used to be a big bay door. Yeah, huh. and uh, it was, it, the track stopped right there as far as I, my memory was. Stopped in the street right there, but it, it would be maintenance away equipment that sat in here that I remember. Yeah. It came around and tied in a switch. Swear up to here. Alright, this is the old water tower place. Yeah, you can see where the concrete blocks are here. This is, the old water tower. This, is for, this was for the Atlantic and Danville. Yeah, this was the old water tower. I'm surprised a lot of this stuff is still here, Tony. Uh, yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm just doing what I can tell you off my memory. I, what's that person here? He can tell you a whole lot more stuff. Oh, yeah, Mountain Man would tell you a lot. Yeah. Because this was his, these were his rails right here. Yeah, this was his deal. So we'll follow this track team in. This one. At one point in time, it starts incurred back this way. I got a picture of sitting about right here of a, a C40-8, C40B-8 sitting right here. Yeah, B40s, yeah. Yeah, old B40 sitting right here. It was just sort of sitting right in here. They just stored it, you know, to get on and off of it. Yeah, where did they take all the track up? When? Um, mm -hmm. 80s. Well, later than that. It was, I would say it probably came up in the 2000s. Oh wow, so it's fairly recent. Yeah. See, we're back on the main here. It used to be coming in the curve. See that track? I'm, I'm almost walking with the track. There are two switches right here on the main. Back to back, like this. Sort of like this. One leading that way, coming off, and then the main going off that way. So, opposing switch coming east, opposing switch coming west, we're in this curve right here. And 
course that switching went that way, went back that way behind where we just came. The other switch. And there's the trussle right there that goes over to block water. And that right there leads you back towards the mill. All right. All right. We're leading in. Here you go. See your tracks. Now, right here was a switch. Where are we at right here? Okay. That can tell some remnants still Look. up. Okay. Yeah, one track right there. Going that way. And I think this is where the other frame. Two tracks here. One of them went on around here, and then it was a stub track that went up in here. That's the one that goes on around. Like, see? Oh, yeah, yeah, you okay. can see it good now. All right, this was a stub over here, I think, Patrick, right up in here. I got my Stud? Stub. As stub. In, yeah, just enough to put like a locomotive and a caboose in right here. Okay. Out of the way. It came off of that. Wow. Right through there. And that, this is the track that went and tied in over there where we came from it looped out and went around and this is the track to interchange yep. with the sal yeah exactly I, mean, I didn't want to fight red bus but look the best time to see this is in the winter time but okay. all this stuff has died back when you see it and if you go over there by mc's car wash you can see the end of it i used to cross over a little piece of it as a kid but right. when i was coming through with my mom and, and they dad had to flag those tracks when they had whenever a train had to go across that they had to flag that across mm -hmm. get them across I got some pictures of the train sitting over there on this right here. Sweet o! This is Bird's own warehouse. Oh, this is another one of the warehouses here. You can see back here for you YouTubers. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that is the the old NFND bridge that spans the Blackwater. And back here, they interchange with the international paper. The line was abandoned in 2010. That make a perfect shot. Oh my gosh. Now, past the trussle at about maybe say 500 yards, the track's cut. It's actually cut, one rail's cut. And I don't know if they did it for insurance purposes. Because it really didn't, you know, they, I, we, we, they're not using really the word abandonment. Uh, just out of service is what they're doing. They haven't abandoned the line technically. But it's a cut in the rail when they stop service west of Franklin. They cut the rail down there, which we might stop in. I'll show you all that. Sweet up. Yard, 600 yards in there, they cut one rail just to insurance purposes. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know the reason behind it. It's got to be something to do with us. Anyway. And this is the uh, exact crossing of the notorious uh, rock train. Uh, peanut truck collision. <laughs> yeah, because the uh, the V13 came through here too. And, uh, Am I right? Yeah, exactly correct. That was your uh, evening train. That was your evening rod train. And the yeah, V14 yeah, form was the uh, was the I next one. Remember the engineer? I, I don't know who got it. I don't know if Aaron Smith got it. Or uh, she would have been on the 31. Either 31 or the 13 hit it. I was just a little kid then. Yeah, he'll bring a feed skills across the road. He come around the curve and there won't much he could do. And of all the times I've been through, I only got to see one train on this line. I saw it on the Suffolk portion. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. It was a couple of SDs and like ten box cars. using six axles to much later. The 90s. This was this is where GP thirty eight dash twos and of the sort high of, hoods and everything yeah, like all that. High hoods. I got I got some old videos of that. And see this is an old school one right here too. 
stop four, four tracks. tracks. That's what I was telling you. you. Had four tracks. You had that one right there, and one next to it being back. There. And you had these two back here too. Yeah, you went one, two, two and three, four. and then four. Yep, exactly. I found the uh, over there laying in the rubble when I was a teenager, and I kept it. The old um, porcelain yard limit sign oh, wow. from the old southern days when the southern had it oh, he pushed man. up some dirt it was, it was broken half but i do have the two pieces in that somebody at the museum says they know how to weld it back so at least tinker it back but, um, and just pretty much do a welding seam on the mm -hmm. back side you won't see it what you used to uh you don't see anymore it's gone too it used to be a water tower on the other side of those trucks right there Big water tower, you know, the huge ones from that every town had. And before the radios, uh, the guys used to tell me when they were doing a bunch of switching up here, they crawl up in the tower so the engineer can see them and do hand signals from the tower as they were switching in this area right here. Well, this has been very educational. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This yeah, has been lot, very a lot of educational. Would add to it. I'm just, you know, telling y'all what I was never told it. And, it's somewhat might be, you know, somebody might know a whole lot more than me. When we made paper over here, there were certain chemicals we needed to use. And, and this is where they dropped this, the... This was a contract that made the chemicals and shot it over to us to make paper. Now, we don't make paper no more. We make a, a fluff, so it's different. We don't need that no more. Now, also, if you want to get a good picture, all that right there, the stacks on the yeah. hill. You see what you're looking at right here? All that's going to be demolished here shortly. Really? Was that the old paper machines? No, all the paper machines, uh, well, are back behind the mill. This is the old power plant. Oh, this was the power plant that's going to come that down. Was, that was the coal power plant. We used to get coal in from Norfolk Southern. Oh, okay. But due to uh, EPA regulations and um, uh, the new thing called Nordic Thank you. Excuse Blastic. me. Thank you. Nordic Swan. Our products are not supposed to be made out of renewable energy sources. So meaning we can't use coal and, uh, and sell to certain customers. But they're they keeping like the it. sawmill and stuff. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah. But I'm just talking about the, pay the power plant right there with all mm -hmm. the uh, iconic Union Camp stacks over there, the big huge stacks, all that's getting ready to be demolished. That's gonna be gone. You know, like I said, they used to switch this every day, just about every day. Yeah. So this was a big problem. Okay, this was just the yeah, side and track here. I can't remember if they had four spots down there. I knew they put in seven cars here, but I think it was only four spots here. Four stuff on the black side. This is the old farm crossing. Farm crossing, you said? But uh, for whatever reason, which might be good news, the Sawmill has bought this old part of oil plant. Um, maybe they'll expand here one day and use this over here. But this used to be a particle board plant, and they used to put in box cars over here, and they would load them. See the big bay door about there? Yeah, that's where they would bring yeah. the box cars around, and load them up. Yeah, okay, that's right. Box cars, wow. flat cars, all sorts of stuff. This is old particle board. And as we walk forward here, we have to cut in the rail. Yep, see there it is right there. Yeah. <clears throat> Probably had it been out in the straight. The rail looks like to be it's in, still in pretty decent shape. Yeah, I think it is. And I'm really surprised. The line's been abandoned for about eight years. I'm surprised that out it's still... Out of service. Out of service. Oh, out of I service, excuse me. It's just haven't had any anymore. traffic or in eight years, and I'm surprised that, yeah. that it's still here. Here's the particle board plant, as Tony was just oh, mentioning. They, they just sprayed. They just came down here and sprayed the line a couple weeks ago to where everything died back. Yeah. Well, they, they've sprayed it. They've maintained. They've maintained they very maintained well. that well, part. Do they use like a uh, track machine? Yeah, just a high rail. 
Oh, wow. High rail truck. That's why it looks like you got all weeded up right now. So they're probably trying to keep it in good shape. Well, yeah, we, I mean, I don't know what the uh, parameters are. They might be required for a certain amount of years to keep it, you know, in decent shape except something comes back. And after they hit a certain timeline, you know, I don't know what, what happens then. They might say, you know, rip it up. I hope not. I really don't believe it. Because the mill could give them business again. And a a short-line operator ought to be able to make it. Commonwealth easily. Well, you know, there's a lot of factors in this rail line that, that they're going to have to do. Whoever gets it is going to have to get a lot of upgrade on the track, the road bed, and the ties. Also, the bridges. That's a big thing, the bridges. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Percy Wilt told me there were several bridges that will need redoing. So... I mean, of course, if the government's giving you money, you might get to do a little bit. They were switching wood. They take the train, put it right up here on the main line right here. Uh, the cars that need to be, you know, uh, what they do is pull ahead with his train, back in with his loads, pull out the empties, put the empties on the main line, back in and spot the loads. Well, one guy was spotting the loads right here. The brakeman or the conductor would pop the brake and bleed the air, let the cars roll downhill and roll past the switch down there. Tie your brakes when the locomotive came out of here, I'd spot the car, they had the train behind them, you could roll back to suffer. Neat! So they could roll, roll right toward the black little rubber. Of course, they could get away from them going right on across the trussle there, too. So. <laughs> I love exploring abandoned rails because these tracks. Tell a story. Don't use the word abandoned. Out of service. I'm sorry, out of service you track. My feelings when you say abandoned. <laughs> I, I love exploring old places because these places like service. this will tell you a story. Because yeah. I remember when I come through here as a kid, I would always see the grain cars parked here on, on the side and track as a kid. Yeah, because yeah, uh, that's when everything was booming for, the, for this the district. Mm -hmm. but they notice they painted this yellow. They used to have that cone sitting there when they cut the track. So, then that's the part they just have to fix. I thought, and I might be wrong about this, that they had this bent outward. Bent outward. Yeah, I thought they had it bent outward, but it looks like it's bent back in straight. But I can't see. They'll just have to take the weld and weld it and then sand it down. Yeah, what a grinder. See, that way you keep it straight. You can still high rail over it for inspection. Oh, yeah. And but you can't ride a locomotive over it. You can run a locomotive over it. You better go real slow. You can go slow. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they run across the Brook Rail all the time. You can go, go across them real slow. Mm -hmm. I've seen train cars going across the Brook Rail so broke to do this. Or go out one and come back. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you can see we got the rubber protectors around the rails mm -hmm. for the cars. That's the old park. You got the old southern switch stands see how the old tall switch stands oh, yeah. let me zoom way down there yes sir oh yeah mm -hmm. that's like on the virginia beach uh, down there. that was on the virginia beach line too yeah some of those don't see on that part of the old southern circle there mm -hmm. so that, that line actually made a whole loop at one point 